Salutations, my friends, and thank you for rejoining me here in Kaiserreich playing as that beautiful, absolutely beautiful American Union state. Last time we took out those evil, evil Canadians, as well, of course, as the PSA and the CSA. And now America's left, but right now we're looking at the Union French War. That's interesting that we're still called the Union, you know, since we are Southerners, but we're part of the Union. Hmm. Anyways, we've only lost 11,000 to the Entente. Of course, minus Canada, of course. Uh, but they lost a lot of people, especially the French Republic. They are the last major power. I still kind of can't believe that Canada went to war with us, and they just sealed their fate. Let's just be real. They sealed their fate. And now we're going to have our tanks racing back to put these people in their place. But we have quite a few comments to get through. Uh, let's see. I really like this flag. That's a really nice flag. Anyways, uh, first one. Someone said there, there might be another event where we can piece out the Entente. So, hopefully that happens. I kind of hope that does happen, because I don't want to go all the way to North Africa and deal with them over here. Because if I have to get down there, I'm going to straight up annex all this African portion, and I don't really want to do that. But we'll see what happens. I'm totally okay with that. Okay, so, the end of the Amer Second American Civil War. Here we long and his allies have triumphed over all enemies. With this victory, we can now celebrate a new era of peace. Though there is much rebuilding to do, we shall take this time to celebrate our victory. Wow. Um, I'll put you right there, and I'm not going to touch you. We are at war, so which means we are going to lose quite a few divisions. It is what it is. But we're really going to focus on rebuilding. Wow, Illinois looks terrible. 20%? Ah! Oh, oh, my goodness. Uh, I'll build a Minnesota. Minnesota looks pretty nice. Good. We got to get back to Delaware. Which is fine. You know, things happen. Now, if you guys could, like, make a detour first down at this portion. That'd be delightful. Very good. Not going to touch that. A couple more comments. All right, so I asked you guys yesterday where we should have our capital. Should it be in D.C., New Orleans, St. Louis... I think there was one more, maybe Philadelphia. Uh, and overall, there was support between, at the time of this recording, Washington, D.C. and St. Louis. I mean, people recommended St. Louis because it's centrally located. It's basically part of the Midwest. Uh, where is it? This, this is Illinois, which means St. Louis is right here next to Missouri, right on the border there. They recommended St. Louis because it's, of course, centrally located compared to the rest of the country. Secondly, it can't be invaded by the sea, which is okay. You know, that seems pretty good for defensive purposes. And thirdly, it has exchanged hands so many times that it's basically a smoldering ruin at this point, which means that we can rebuild it up, which is a good point. Uh, well, no, do we can do last American standing. It's beginning to dawn upon our citizens that the American Civil War is actually over. The scars from the fighting will last for a long time, but it seems as if the feelings already started to sink in that any chance to change America's destiny further has passed. We are now and forevermore the American Union state, and that the world should know that it is so. Good. More stability? Great. A little bit of lag? Whatever. The second Valk has already started off. But the, the the support for us to make DC, or make that continue to be our capital, uh oh, that's not good, um, is that it's on the sea, it's historically based. And we want to be seen actually as the legitimate U.S. government. So if we maintain control and keep Washington, D.C. as our capital, which you, we've actually had almost since the beginning of the war under our control, that would risk, that would give us more legitimacy as to being the actual United States of America. So uh, I, I did like that idea as well. So we have both of those ideas floating, and then we'll see what happens. And we also have this, Fate of Canada, West Indies Federation. Uh... I think, we'll, I think we'll do that. Like I said yesterday, we're going to add some new states here. Canada, Canada, Canada. Finally, the corrupt Dominion of Canada, home of the British exiles, has capitulated to our glorious armies. Reports say the king and his close circle fled the country, but this doesn't matter. We have now control over these large portions of the land, but what should we do with them? Liberate a loyal Canada? We get a maple leaf flag if we did that. Liberate Canada and Quebec. Our manifest destiny doesn't concern the Frenchmen. Liberate Quebec and annex Canada. It's Manifest Destiny to Annex Canada. Honestly, doesn't concern Frenchmen, liberate Quebec and Annex Canada. Who are they talking to? Do they not realize that Huey Long has probably quite a bit of French influence down in Louisiana, especially in Nolens? What? No, it's our Manifest Destiny to Annex Canada. This is our 50, 49th state. Especially, well, we still have Alaska. Maybe, maybe it's, well, we had to take them out too. We lost Hawaii, which is another comment that was addressed yesterday, which I'll talk to, or I'll talk about in a little bit. But we gotta finish these guys off first. So, I think overall, when we get the choice, I believe that we're probably gonna keep DC as our capital. Now, for in the future, though, for the American Union state. Oh, hello, who are you? Oh, very nice. We don't need you right now, but I'll gladly accept you. But in the future campaigns, American Union state, I won't always keep Washington, DC as a capital, just because we're gonna reshape America. We don't want any legitimacy. We want legitimacy, but 
none of the influences from past glories or past fake governments will say, ah, new Washington, good. Cool, and we can't do any focus yet. We'll take the fight abroad. We could do that for a land auction bonus. Trials against the traitorous, traitorous generals? I think so. Oh, we can do back on the world stage. And I gotta make sure that we actually do manifest destiny. It does not have a democratic government mutually... Oh, we have a democratic government. Oh. Well, that sucks. Enter the fray. Join the... Oh, we can't we can join the Reich's Pact. So, I might as well... I guess we might as well talk about it right now, then. Um, so, Hawaii joined the Reich's Pact. Oh, look, we actually sunk two subs. Nice. And someone recommended... I could just transfer this to me. But, we, with the understanding, if I transfer Hawaii, the Hawaiian Islands to me and all their extra little islands they have around here, I would join the Reich's Pact on that condition, because Hawaii is part of the Reich's Pact. So, that actually does make sense, especially if we... If we are forced to not choose Manifest Destiny, which I really want to do, but we'll get there eventually. Yeah. Yeah. We'll probably end up doing End of the Fray. It is what it is, but I do want to warn you guys, like, what what I'm thinking. Pretty much every step of the way. Good. Kick him out. Kick, take over Delaware. Fighting for America is gone, because its prerequisites are no longer there. The end of the American Civil War. No stability. Well, actually, we have negative stability and no war support. If that's the case, build up Indiana looking pretty good right there. A pair of troopers. Uh, we have more slots here in Iowa, though. So, let's go ahead and choose something else. Back on the world stage. No, we're pretty good right now. We actually finished off a lot of our focuses, which is really nice. Rebuilding the country. Research bonus. Every man a king. Daily political power. Gain more stability. Let's fight some terrorists. That sounds so American. Following the trail of convicted traitors, the president has found a group of congressmen that were in contact with business executives planning against us. Although they are now behind bars, some have eluded capture through political avenues. We are investigating whether the captured Richard Butler in his asylum will lead us to any more traitors. So, the first pair drop exercises. Well, technically speaking, more pair, for the first pair dropping exercises were practiced in 1930 with biplanes dropped machine gun squads. Today, a major breakthrough has been achieved in airborne department. After finishing a rigorous conditioning and training program started two weeks ago, a lottery was made to decide the jumping order of the experimental pair dropping platoon made up of volunteers. When the Douglas C-33 took off from the Lawson Airfield and finally was put into position to start the experiment, Lieutenant Second Lieutenant William T. Ryder became the first American paratrooper after making his jump and landing near Fort Benning. The second man, however, refused to jump, and so the first enlisted man to become a paratrooper was Private William N. Red King. And then the remaining uh, eight platoon members and the aircraft. After the test, they quickly reached the rendezvous point and reached and completed their exercise goals, making the experiment a success. Start scheduling new jumps. Oh, um, what? Well, Japan? What are you? Uh, part of minute. What the? What is going on down there? What in the do heck are the smokerinos are y'all doing? Bolivia. Okay. As long as I'm sorry, Japan. I just I can't see you do that. It doesn't make sense for France to get it either. Uh, uh, Bolivia, uh, but this makes more sense. Watch Japan. Uh, that's disgusting. And this is going to be very, very important to do the American Legion appointment here. All right, you guys did a great job. Come right here, right next to our future capital. So, with the end of the Second Civil War comes a vacancy at the ever important uh, position of the American Legion's national commander. The last title holder, Smedley Butler, had foolishly sided with the Syndicalists. Whoever takes this position will symbolically represent the veterans of the U.S. military and society, and thus our choice is important. The most common name floated is George, General George Mosley, although his anti-Semitism does dissuade some of his, from his nomination. Huey Long also believes that his friend and ally, Fox Connor, who introduced Patton to Huey's cause, should have the position. William Pelley's name has already been placed on our desk several times despite the door being locked. Who shall be appointed? Oh, I really want to choose Pelley, but that's, that's not this run. Or Mosley, I like both. But we want Long to be the victor here. So we shall appoint Connor. Actually, I knew a kid named Connor. Actually, I knew a couple guys named Connor. But happy 1940, my friends. New year, new us. And we're going to root out some terrorists. God, I hope we can crush them with tanks. Oh, and they died. As they should. India. And go home. Go home. Please. I beg you to go home. I do not want to kill you. Please. Look into my eyes, son. I do not want to hurt you. Leave. But, you know, if we have to, we'll do whatever we have to. Alright, there goes Wadai. So be it. Take that one off. Good luck. I could split these guys up, but... That's not a very good task force. Screening efficiency stuff. We get another research slot, too. Oh, my gosh. 1940, by the way, so it gets more research speed. We're gonna need that, son. Oh, Boston. Boston, Boston. Are, is no one getting supplies through here? Like, Portugal guys? What's going on? Cool. 
So that was those were most of the comments from earlier. Uh, anything else? Central class bombing. Oh, business plot exposed. Uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. There's other comments that I might remember if I remember or not. So, did you make it? No. No. I don't care. Stability will get more stability overall, but the business plot will has been exposed. Fox Gunner has come rushing to Huey Long, interrupting one of his meetings as he de delivers an important message for the Kingfish. It seems that the War Powers Committee has been looking to the after looking to the American Legion to try and get support to overthrow him. This news first makes the room fall silent, and then anger from Long, who orders the arrest of the traitors to America. The gang, now known as the Business Plot, is due to appear at the trial shortly. Mosley stops being a field marshal. Paternal autocracy. How dare you, Mosley? How dare you? Oh wow, we already lost a lot of generals already. Wow, Matthew Ridgeway. Jesus Christ, you look amazing. Oh. I'm glad Mosley's gone. We can put you in. Unyielding Defender. I like that. And I also like being offensive at the same time. Expert Delegator. We honestly probably won't need that, so let's save it for later. Level 6. God dang, son. Lewis Puller. He's a Mountaineer dude. Cool. Oh, uh, well, the American Civil War over. And this we got tanks. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Look. I thought, you know, last time, in the last episode, our Navy got hit pretty hard by the federal government. Or maybe it was two episodes ago. I can't remember. I have some tea here, too, to keep us nice and warm. But all we did was lose some planes, which we can get back. We sunk three, oh, wait, five Australasian subs, two cruisers, an escort cruiser, five destroyers, and a couple planes and a convoy. Oh, this is why you don't mess with America. You don't mess with the AUS. That is pathetic. You can't went all around the world just to lose. Oh, that is, that is so sad. Yeah, yeah, you want to do it again? Yeah, try it again. That is... I'm sure we lose a convoy here and there, but... That is so sad. That is just... They didn't have to die. These Indians and French folk don't have to die. Why do you throw their lives away? The Canadians are done. There's nothing you can do. So, well. It's, up, it's their choice. So. Very good. Keep it up, guys. You're doing a great job. Uh... Yes. I am single-handedly helping out the Syndicalists beat up the Entente here, basically. At this point. It, this, oh my god, look at that strength. Oh. Oh, yeah. I love I love it when we can do so well, so well in the water. Oh, but this is... Hey, oh, I'm joining with my cat, Binky. Hey, Bink, how you doing? Ivy Division, big red one. I love these generals, but... We gotta, we gotta consolidate at this point. Uh, you're all infantry... Ooh, hold on. No, what type of division is this? They're 20 combat width with 7-2. You guys are 18 Brazilian volunteers. I love the volunteers. You guys, you, Bink, you okay? I'm joining with my cat, Binky. Why are you at my saxophone case? That's nice and clothed, but still. Uh, no. Where's the two arts? There you go. I love the Brazilian volunteers. We can't change them up, but that's okay. But you know what? We gotta be careful. We have to be very, very careful. Because you never know. Well, it, these are socialists, right? Yeah, radical socialists. You never know, they might do something. I don't want to get rid of you because you've done extremely well. But, hmm. We've got to consolidate some forces. Uh, Austrian Empire joined the Reich's Pact. Oh, nice. They intervene. Cool. Marine divisions, we definitely need to make some Marines. Uh, nothing there that's really super important, though. Do we have a military police? No, we don't. Oopsie, I didn't mean to click that button. Let's time go on for now. American Union State Division. You okay, Bink? I'm gonna take a nap on my chair. Two arts. We might make them 40 combat with. You know what? We've got time for them. You, me, and some th really thick southern boys. Well, I guess at this point, they're not just southerners anymore. It's the entire... Almost the entire continent, minus Mexico. You know what? We're probably just gonna eat up Mexico, too. Let's be real. We've already taken out our hat, so we might as well put on our little groupie groupie down there. Uh, volunteers, American Motorized. Oh, that's so sad. Since we're rebuilding, we might as well be in a massive deficit anyways. I wonder if I could throw on armored cars. Maybe mechanized and motorized artillery. Can you get mechanized artillery? That sounds like a lot of fun. That seems like a waste of time. But that sounds like a lot of fun, honestly, to me. Let's do that. Uh, light armored cars. We'll go with armored recon since we're going to be using light tanks throughout the rest of this campaign, probably. Maintenance companies, engineers... Still making light tanks? Good. Nice. Look at all that army XP we just used up. Beautiful. Uh, American US, US, Silver Legion, goodbye. P Wait, do we not get... I guess we didn't make any paratroopers. I could make paratroopers, but I don't ever really like using them too much. They have their uses, but we'll see. If anything, it's probably better to make more than make a lot, but 
I don't know. Make him 20 combat with or something. And then throw on some... Eh, throw on that, that's fine. Engineers. We might use these guys, we might not, so... Alright. Convert all? Let's see, you guys are 40 combat width. You guys are 20 combat width. 18, ah, oh, there you are. Two arts. Well, let's call them. Uh, they're not technically vets, so we'll call them Big Bigios. I don't know. I don't. I don't always want to say Biggies. So beautiful, just lovely. Devers, he did a great job in this war. Oh yes, give me more artillery. Oh, I love artillery. American Union State stuff. No, that's trash. Bigios. Go with six at a time. We can only support so much at one time, so. Uh, good. Now, even though I did say I want to make more tank divisions. Oh, maybe I, maybe I said that. Maybe I didn't. Oh, you got encircled. Well, you got dang dinguses. Don't get encircled. Japan? Oh, yeah. Thank you. So, we're probably going to switch these guys over to. You know what? I'm going to try something different in this campaign. I want to try a different type of tank template. Ooh, Federal's bombing. I don't like that. I want to try a different tank, tank template just to see if I can make things a little bit more interesting. No, I don't, no, I just want you. Thank you. We're gonna maybe make some. Hmm. Hmm. We could go medium tanks. I'm thinking. You know what? How we go heavy tanks? It's gonna cost even more. Heavy tanks, but maybe with some SP artillery. Maybe one or two. Maybe not a whole lot. But we could try that maybe. Also, maybe get some more planes now. It is 1940, so. Uh, what do we have over here? Is it just more ships? It looks like it. Oh my gosh, we lost so much, so many things here. Uh, put you at the top because we're going to need some artillery immediately. Plane wise, oh my goodness, we need so much. God dang terrorist scum! No time to go on. Just why? Why? Beautiful. All right, so how do I invade all the way over to there? Oh, we have this too. Bermuda. Oh, that's where Bermuda is. Wait, why is compliance gains disabled? What? Why? What the heck? Cuba makes sense. Until oh, garrison needs are fully. Hmm. 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 Yeah, they're using that template. I'm uh, not quite understanding this, I'll be honest. You know, you default. Um. Oh, okay, so here comes the first formation of the paratrooper divisions. Cool. I'm not really understanding why we're not getting anything here. What's going on? Oh, maybe they don't have enough guns. That's why. We need point two four. Just need a few more guns. Okay, that makes sense then. Cool. Uh, let's let time go on. Extra loyalty, more political power. Let's probably get more political power first. You know, I love stability. Let's go down this way first, I suppose. National political machine. Executive acts have been used to create agencies that serve the American people in the past, so long as it does not intrude into state sovereignty. In the past, it's powered led to corruption from corporate interests. The president is, however, incorruptible. Absolutely. He's infallible. Turning the tables against monopolies and grafters is his promise to America. I am for the poll man. Formation of the first paratrooper divisions with the success of our scheduled mass jumps when with the blessing of General Patton. Four Bennings began taking volunteers for paratrooper units. God, I wanna I want to skydive so badly. Well originally the high command or high training standards are in relatively high mortal risk initially caused few volunteers to show up, their high command authorized a triplification of the paratrooper wage, as opposed to the foot soldier wage. Soon enough, the 501st Parachute uh, Battalion was formed, quickly followed by other battalions and regiments. After a week of uh, recruitment, the number of volunteers was enough to form five paratrooper divisions for us to utilize. While these divisions still lack combat experience, this breakthrough in airborne tactics should not be underestimated, and the high command is looking forward to seeing their investment in these divisions pay off. Beautiful. Now the question is, are these 20 combat width, or like 10 combat width? Oh, they're still 12, that sucks. They do have recon on them, but... Uh, we can't convert them to the other one. That sucks. That's kind of okay for now. You're gonna put them under special forces, special command for now. Uh, I'm actually, you know what? Since we have them, we might as well use them, right? Mm, well, you, we'll probably give them the ambusher so that it can be really good on entrenched stuff. And we lost some thing there. That's fine. Whatever. Anything for ships? Not really. We got some ships. God, I love tanks. We can go from there. Maybe we can invade the 
orcs, maybe? How strong are these guys? They don't have a lot of manpower. We could try to invade, but I don't think we could. Send the bombings. I mean, we killed off a lot of enemies. How dare they invade America? Shame on these people. Oh, well, they, oh, well, they go, there goes uh, some of those guys. Oh, cancel on these. How dare you cancel on these? Sweet. So right now, let's go ahead and stop making more light armor divisions. I want to convert these guys eventually to something else. Arr. More. There we go. I like that. And since we sold some of this, uh, heavy tanks would probably be ideal. We're going to increase that to 22. Anything else around here? Not really. I really want to use heavy tanks. I don't know why. Just, I know they cost so much. We don't have the industry for it right now. But I really want some heavy tanks. Well, let's get this going first. Because I do, like I said, I do want to throw some SPAA. A -A, artillery, I mean. 36, so we'll see what happens. We'll save that middle one for later. Yes, we'll take some artillery. Thank you. Actually, we're doing really well in artillery. Wow. Gun-wise, we're doing pretty well as well. How many guns are we making? Uh, we can lower by 10, probably. We'll probably be okay. Go up to 5. Lower you to 5 as well, so we can start producing other things at the same time. That'll be good. We're going to lower the tanks down to probably 5, because we're just making like some recon stuff for that at this point, which will be good. Can we deploy any more planes here? Any planes? 100, 100... Which were bombers. Cool. Are we getting naval? Oh, don't tell me we're getting naval invaded. Uh, I just wanted to, you know, train some planes up. Ay, ay, ay. 400. There you go. Camp Grupa. Very good. Now we could go desperate defense, but let's go modern blitz speed. That's just better overall. Uh, Sargasso C. Oh, don't you dare. There's, I hope we get an event that we can get rid of this stuff. Uh, sure, yeah. Germany, yeah. Even though you are... You're fighting on several different fronts. Um, White Ruthenia is looking pretty thick. And then, the, oh, you're fighting both sides already? Oh. Maybe we, sh we won't join the Reich's Pact. We'll see what happens. Schism in their share of the wealth societies. The share of the wealth societies uh, throughout America, he belongs to not only party members, but also former government employees. The new employees were directed by Marine veteran Sidney McMath and were paid on the federal payroll. Now there exists a tension between the old and the new in share of wealth. Old Guard leader Francis Townsend advocates for share of wealth to remain a non governmental entity to prevent partisan politics, while McMath wishes to officiate it as a federal department. Well, I think we're going to go with. McMath, just because it'll be a federal department for now. I think that's probably a good thing to do. Uh, that's probably what Huey Long wanted in real life, so let's do that. New democracy, yes, please. More stability, recruit the population, more support. The new democracy is a social contract between the American people and, his, and the leadership. New democracy promises that a politician that will work in his constituents' interests through adversity, even through violence. Loyalty to your constituents will be rewarded until every man is a king, and remember, no one wears a crown. Time for some tea. Man, you can really blow through all that army XP really quickly. Fight the goddamn terrorist scum. And then we're gonna have to raise up our civilian economy. We're gonna get a partial mobilization if we can. Political national political machine, not bad. Almost one a day. Syndicalist bombings, god dang it. Uh let's see. What do we have? Overwhelming socialist resistance. Yeah, that's not good. Good. It is nineteen forty. But I gotta start making some better tanks. We could do that. We can kind of wait, though. I think we get away with just by waiting for now. It is 1940, so... Carriers. Why not? Let's see. There's our torpedoes attack. Torpedoes, torpedoes. Really good torpedo stuff. Subs. Yeah, focus on those things. And then also we want to focus on... These guns, I think. Is it these guns? No, this gun here. Actually, no, no. Huh. Oh, there it is. Dual purpose secondary batteries. I like those. I really like those. Yeah, yeah. Sink them. I hope the Reds kill you off, Republic of France. I really do hope they do that. Cancel the lease. Makes sense. You know, makes sense. Hmm. 
Cuba is in the Reich's Pact. But these guys are not. We have land down here. Air Cobra. We have to do that immediately. Let time go on. Oh, what are they doing? They're trying to get another convoy, huh? They already did. Uh, what a bunch of garbage peoples. Build, 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 build. Federal's bombings? Man, the feds lost a long time ago. Yeah, you look. A couple more convoys, good. I doubt anyone has upgrades, do they? Truth about Hugo Black. Oh, look at this. Destroyer leader? That's not bad. Cruiser captain. More naval speed, more damage. Lancer, I like that. <sighs> Screening efficiency. Search pattern killer. Spotting speed. Hunter killer. This guy's really good for subs, actually. But, that's fine. We're gonna go with cruiser captain. And then, search pattern expert. Yeah, when we can, so. Uh, the truth about Hugo Black. When the Honorable Hugo Black was appointed office on the cotton tails, or coattails, of Huey Long's feet, very few had bothered to check his past associations. This is why today's newspaper shocked President Huey Long so greatly. The next was they found Hugo, Hugo Black's clan membership. No, 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 no. Hugo Black responded to the press by profusely apologizing, saying that his membership was just perfunctory in order to get elected in Alabama. While Black's judicial record does paint him as a liberal, this lies directly in the face of Long's anti-clan campaign. Should we fire Hugo Black? Uh, a man can change? An intolerable association. Absolutely intolerable. What you do in the past can come back and haunt you. We have council culture here right now in 1940s May. How is Second Valkyrie going? It's not going great for Germany, but it's not going terrible, it looks like. Not yet. Oh, well, it looks actually really, really, really whole, terrifyingly bad for Austria. You know what? We might not be able to join the Reichspact. If Germany loses, they're not in a camp. They're not in a faction once they go down to Middle Africa, so... Uh, oh, Turkey lost their war, too. Oh, boy. Um, we might end up not being in a faction, then. Maybe. I don't know. I'm not sure how I can invade the French Republic, though. Actually, I do know how. we got to go back. we got to invade Bermuda to get to the Azores and have a good time like that. God dang, we need more ships. Uh, are you guys repairing? Oh, God. You already split off, though. Oh, I don't want to do this, but we're going to have to. <sighs> Cut you guys down in half, which is a really bad idea, but whatever. One, two, there you go. Convoy raid. I really don't want to split you guys in half, but we're going to have to as well. One, two, and then we'll get all the way over there. So, new democracy, great. People's Commission, more stability, more war support, every man and king. I am for the Paul man. Uh, actually, was it uh, destroy the clan? That'd be good. Imperial Presidency, reward, loyalty. Where do we get another research slot? Oh, is it over here? Oh, it's over here. Oh, crap. Uh, we could rebuild the country first. I need that research slot, though, right now. So, rebuild the country. A long struggle to push through the Federalist and Syndicalist forces. America has left the victorious Union state economically drained. The hand that unifies the country can either promote deficit spending regime or an austere program that limits direct intervention in the market. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Good, good, good. We must rebuild the country. Oh, boy. Improved Southern Tenant Farmers Union. So, although the work of the Southern Tenant Farmers Union is all well appreciated, the name itself that provides homes to thousands, it's still the butt of jokes. The tenants are exasperated about the name of their organization. A visit to the office and a reprint is all it takes to correct that snafu. While Huey Long was inside, he decided to improve and integrate other parts of the newly lived christened American Tenant Farmers Union into its political machine, the ATFU. Wow, ATFU. What a name. All right, my tanks. Y'all going to do a great job. Actually, do we have Marines? Do we not have Marines? Not even a single goddamn Marine Division? Oh, what type of crud is this? Actually, Big E.O.'s. If you got another name that I could call these temp this template, please let me know in the comments below. I would love a, a different name, maybe. Oh, look at that convoy. Hey, look at that. Another convoy. Hey, look at that. Divisions. Love them. New York Division. Hmm. Well, looks like we got we ain't got any Marines, so. Alright, thank you, boys. Looks like it's your time to shine. You're going to come from the great state of North Carolina to reinvade Bermuda. Take these sons of guns out. Hopefully, you can win. Uh, you might not be able to. Just saying, but you're going to try your best. Because we got a campaign to go all the way to Northern Africa. How many have we killed so far? I mean, my goodness. Six, over 600,000. They've killed almost 400,000 Frenchmen. Not, against, not using the French against the French, but the French against the American Union state. What type of stupid leader do you have, man? 
Rubber, chromium. We could probably use that chromium right now, actually. They're gonna be. Oh, don't. Oh, try to invade Eastern Canada. Ah, uh, triple dog dare you, son. Oh, they did. Alright, sons. It's time to put these pieces of crap down once again. Now, I should have used my other divisions to get up there, but that infantry will get there in time. I'm not really too worried about it. And that's why we're building up our industrial capacity in the Midwest. You never know if people are going to attack us from other directions. Go ahead and start building up the military factories. Oh, in Wisconsin, too. Nice. Very good. Anything over here? Oh, yeah. Fighter 1s. Get Fighter 2s. Air to Cobra. Pathetic enemies. You guys. Mara, you're a sea wolf. Honestly, fleet protector is actually really good to get. How do you even get that? Yeah, it's okay. Lancer, screen penetration, reveal chance. We want more torpedo hit chance. 10% better chance to heal them, or just 25% faster cooldown. I like the faster cooldown, to be honest with you. So, let's do that, and then do that. Because that looks really good. I think that's going to be really, really good to get. Just, just chucking torpedoes at the enemies. Sounds like a lot of fun. Sounds like a great deal of fun. How are we already halfway into this episode? I mean, not halfway, but half an hour into it. Makes no sense, man. Man, you really enjoy something. It goes by so fast. Go and invade if you can. Uh, do we not have air superior, naval superiority? Oh, right here too. It's fine. It's fine. There you go. See what you can do. Replace Charles Coughlin. So the years of service to America's war and father. The father down. In between his radio shows and his social justice publications, he rarely has time to promote our share our wealth societies. This coupled with this increasing emotional instability has led to the day. Prison Huey Long, while silent on this issue, sympathizes with Jewish citizens for whom Coughlin has made their lives very difficult. We must restore or retire Coughlin. But who would replace him? The calmer preacher Billy Graham? Huey's old running mate William Lemke or up and coming longest Rush Holt Sr. Billy Graham. Spiritual leader, less consumer goods, but more stability. More daily political power, but less construction speed. Or, Rush Holt. Uh, political protege, just because we get more political power, we don't get any debuffs. Rush Holt Sr. Welcome aboard. Uh, tactical bombers. Uh, let's do this one, because we need some naval bombers, too. Defeat's very, very important. Keep building, keep building. Nice. Keep seeing them convoys. How many enemies are over here? Oh, boy. Um, how many enemies are over here? None? I guess they left. Okay, then. Not bad. Oh, this is sad. They retook Boston, but... Honestly. Seriously. We're gonna rebuild the country. Have a great time. We're gonna do the National Recovery Administration. The NRA emphasizes the use of public domain and work living units instead of cutthroat competition of regular contract work. Workers in the NRA will receive the benefit of a minimum wage and price-controlled work environments in constant to the old company store model. Ooh, more construction speed. I like that. As the world burns, we're just kind of watching. Get ready to invade the Azores, because we will invade Portugal. If we can get Portugal done and dusted with, that'd be great. Very nice. We lost the convoy. That's okay. Whatever it happens, happens. Uh, now we can pull you guys off. We're going to continue losing convoys, probably. Actually, I want you guys to not do this, but I want you to rebase here. I think that'd be quite ideal. There we go. Do this. We're really going to do that, that. Yes, that, that. Oh, Bink, you want to leave the room? Bink. All right, Bink, you want to leave? Ah, I love advanced cruiser holes. Oh, and I'm not gonna let it go too far. Cool. Uh, industrial things are probably the best thing. Oh, nuclear research, but we can't really afford that right now. 1940s. Extraction could be good. I kind of want more radar, so we can ba put it on our ships. So, it's only 48 days too, so that's not too bad. Hey, more convoy sunk. Yeah, what is their navy even like over here? I'm a little surprised we still haven't gotten the decision to 
put the capital yet. Yeah, they ain't got much. They actually have an okay navy, but they're just kind of hiding. Are they? They're not out of fuel, are they? They have some fuel. They have some fuel. I mean, not nearly as much as we do, but they still have some. Are you all ready to go? We got ten more days. That's fine. God dang, that's all right. They're doing really well. Holy cow! They're just flooding into Austria and Illyria and southern Germany too. Even the Germans have pushed in a little bit. That's not bad. Russia's kind of stalled out for now. China's a mess. You thought America was a mess. Ha! America was so strong, we took out Canada. Cool. There we go. And train if you need to. Stockpile, so any more artillery, which is fine. Anything else? Oh, in a war carrier fires. McTeague released in theaters. So, a tale of greeting portrayal that once later America is now encapsulating the film, the new film, McTeague. A social commentary by director Erich von Strauheim about the corrupting power of wealth is seen by many as a parable to the state of America before the Civil War. This massive four-hour epic film had its ending altered before the, from the original book, where a kind stranger intervenes in the death struggle of McTeague and whisks him away from Death Valley back to civilization. I had a good nap watching. Very nice. Very cool. Fight this god dang terrorist scum. Because right now we have strong federal resistance, so less organization. We can just get more stability, more war support. Which would be nice, even though we're getting better increased amounts right there. Even though I still said I'd, I want to get the, the uh, civilian government thing out of there. Oh, it's going to take time. Uh, replace economic devastation from the Civil War. Yeah. Syndicalist bombings. We'll get faster construction and stuff like that. Make more civilian fact oh, military factories, I mean military factories. Illinois, we'll do Michigan first, then maybe Indiana, then... Oh, Ohio would have been better. Oh, well, it's fine, whatever. We're going to lose a few more things, whatever, I don't really care at this point. Federalist bombings. Crush these terrorists. Uh, oh, I see that there's a little line there, too. That sucks. Don't do that, but I also want you to do this area. Accusations, accusations of crypto-socialism. The public's understanding of the share of wealth in every man and king is predicted largely on song slogan. Although many Americans today sing along, there persist former Democrats who continue to say our program is crypto socialism. Their contention is slowly damaging our reputation within our nation. How should we respond? It's, it is better than socialism. And we don't have that much political power anymore. Uh, I get more than one a day, though. That's nice. I kind of wish the Spanish would finish off their civil war, but that's just me. Begin reconstruction. That would actually be pretty good, but we're going to rush down this way. Public Works Administration. The ability to generate electricity, transport water, the fall of Vienna, and ensure safe and efficient travel was lost during the Civil War, but the Public Works Administration will fix all that. It is a fund that will ensure contractors pay their employers fairly. Or fair enough. Oh, God, that is... Yeah, we might not be able to join the Reichs Pact. The Russian Republic has their capital down here. Oh, that's Lithuania. Uh, what happened down here? They got actually Krakow, huh? That is interesting. Poland actually got that. They, are, they were in the Dona Ejibun, but... Yeah, I wouldn't want to be in the Reichspack right now. Yeah, definitely would not want to be there. 5% in the side of Gassos. E One, two, three. Hmm. Oh, we got more ships. Nice. Oh, that's not bad. I'm going to throw you right here, then. See what we can do. Fire Brigade's cool. Improved Radar. Minor Blitzkrieg. Backhand below. Nice, nice, nice. 1940s. Not bad. We can make some better planes, though. Even though I kind of want to make better ships. Oh, we don't have enough things here. Um, hmm. Come back over here, then. See what you can do. Okay, please go. Please go. Please. A little bit of lag. That's all. 42% in the Sargos of Sea. I'm running out of ships. I can't do too much around here. God, that's so dumb. One hundred seventy-three factories. Yeah, we're just gonna re really have to focus on tons of ex industrial expansion. Forty-two percent. How do we make it get any higher? Hmm. I'm supposed to catch you guys down in half again, but that's gonna really limit me here. I don't think it's really going to do much. 42% still. 
Oh, dang it. Superman, but this is a clan. Up in the sky, is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's Superman. Saving America from the terror of the clan and the, of the fiery cross. This later series is a brainchild of Siegel and Shuster, partnered with an anti-clan advocate, Stepton Kennedy. This tale was performed or successfully embarrassed the illegal organization further after Pelly's downfall to the point of desertion. Kids love it! And that's what matters. Ah, uh, do that one too. Good. Do we not have carrier naval bombers? Or just naval bombers in general? We do We do have carrier naval bombers, but... Not exactly making any right now. God dang it. I need more ships. Of all places that need help. Be right there. Of course it would be. Hmm. Big sadness. We could get some more war support, but I've got to wait. I've just got to wait. Uh, can I send any volunteers to you guys? Oh, I can't because we're at war. God dang it. Uh, French Republic, please just die. You lost your buddy Canada. I don't know why you can't peace, why peace out with them. It doesn't make any sense. It makes no sense. Oh, that's our eyes pushing very well into Germany. And the Netherlands has almost been cut off. This one tile is holding everyone back. Woo! That is not good. Still need so much more artillery. Holy cow. Then again, I need to make more of everything else. Ugh. Rebuilding after Civil War, not easy. Not really that enjoyable. Anyone else have upgrades here? I forget. Yeah, torpedo cooldown. Fall of Havana? Oh! Wow, we've got, like, literally no command power. Um. Chile? Finland's clear war, Norway? Well, Third International is getting close and close to us. The National Education Administration, in the wake of the collapse of the CSA, the National Education Association is folded and its members dispersed. With most teachers being apolitical and the union ever, never being able to exert much partisan power over them, it makes a strong candidate for the rehabilitation by the new American government. We get a whole research slot, then we can focus on other things that we actually want to do. The 1940s presidential election. In this year's election in the American Union State, and President Huey Long is well in the lead in the national polls and almost certain to be re-elected. Congrats, Huey Long. Ah. Uh, I love democracy. Let's actually be able to build some stuff now. There we go. That's better. Sinclair's bombings, very not good. Indiana, then Canada. Two and three. Governor Long fires on protesters. Earl Long has been, has been long dodged accusations of corruption and mismanagement of money. As brother of Huey Long, Earl has been immune from prosecution. Is usually handled delicately by the press. Earl's administration has been charged to distribute veteran benefits and basic income for the people of Louisiana, with the assumption that all loyal Americans will be deserving of this welfare. A group of concerned citizens, including hundreds of veterans and the poor from northern Louisiana, have gathered in Baton Rouge, claiming that Earl Long has withheld their income and benefits. Governor Earl tries to speak to the crowd, claiming that all the funds have yet to arrive from the capital and disperse until that day. Protesters, many of whom were black veterans, began chanting for Earl's resignation. While well, accounts differ about what happened next, anywhere from 20 to 50 people lie dead among the protesters, and now lies with President Huey Long to pick up the pieces. Governor Earl's appealing to his brother to help him with damage control. The press are not quite at a fever pitch, and any move from Huey could swing the public opinion at the moment. Attend the funerals? Help Earl cover this up. I'm going to attend the funerals. I am for the poll man. Not just those who have money, but I am for the poll man. Now, we just lost, like, four destroyers there, which really sucked. But hopefully we can invade the Azores. This is such a gamble to do it like this. Such a gamble. Can't believe we lost more ships, too. Ugh. Garbage. I'm going to try to make some dreadnoughts and cru cru cruiser hulls as well. Uh, oh, my goodness. Oh, crap. This is why I do not like splitting my ships up. I just can't afford it. Can you hurry up and get over there? What are you doing? Go, 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 go. Finish this. Oh, we have no organization. Please tell me they've got no one over there. I've got to make sure that the task force is big enough so we can deal with any sort of threat. Alright. It looks like there's no one over here, which is good. Can we land? Oh, oh. Sure. Merge these task forces back together. That's just what we got to do. Cool, I mean, we've landed. Great. One, two, one, two, three, four. Yes, 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 yes. If we can... In wow. We can invade a lot of different places. If I could actually invade this area, that'd be great. Oh, boy. One of our ships got really damaged. That's not good. If I can invade, like, right there, that'd be great. What happened? What happened? What happened? Don't lose any capital ships. 
A mandatory repair session. Mm hmm. Bermuda. Bahamas. What was it? Love you like a pretty mom? I can't remember. Good. We're going to need some air bases there. We're going to need some air bases here, too. If you can, build some radar here, too. There you go. It's going to cut into what we really need to build here, but that's okay. Uh, keep building up at least one of these, though. That, that, this will serve us nicely, actually. Serve us very, very nicely. God dang, cynical bombings. <sighs> Weaken social resistance, that's good. Northern B-25 Mitchells. Cool. Good, good. We're looking pretty good on at least the Air Force. Over here, better radar. Might as well. It's almost 41, too. Oh, boy. Guatemala. We could grab some of this. I don't want to lose any more political power, though, right now, though. Anything else here? We just, I wish we weren't at war. I really wish we weren't at war. Why doesn't the French Republic have an event just to give up? Oh, the Baltic Federation? Ooh. Oh, look at that. Fancy. Keep holding out. They're actually doing fairly okay. Everything else being considered, of course. And they, they re... Flip. They took it. God dang it. I really don't like this. I really don't. You know what? Don't do that. Come from there and do that. There you go. That's a little better. Nope, it's not any better at all. God dang it. Seriously? Alright, then come from here. You should not need to go up there. There you go. That's better. One, two. That's it. That's all you need. Uh, Naval Doctrine. Let's do that one, too. That would be good. Okay, uh... Oh, God. The tank's moving back that way. Ah, good. Fourth research slot. Finally. Finally, 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 finally. Um, it's almost 41. You might as well grab some more output and then maybe move some more construction speed. That'd be good. Civil Works Administration. That wouldn't be bad. You can build up even faster, faster, faster. Reconstruction is over. Oh, we could do that. People's Commission. More stability. Political power. So, in order to preserve the integrity of our armed forces, we must expand the minimum into the field of civil protection and border monitoring. The insurgent socialists and MacArthur's rights don't adhere to the rules of engagement anymore, and therefore we must prepare for any level of brutality on their part. Black No More. The imaginations and political uh, opinions of Americans were piqued when Black No More, written by, George, by author George Schuller, appeared in the bookshelves. The book is science fiction of, of regarding a scientist who invents a time machine that can turn a black man white. This invention turns society upside down, changes ideas on race, and one-drop principle. The book continues with the revelation that, revelation that all the characters, both black and white, are mixed race, and the entire principle of racial purity or supremacy collapses. While there were concerns that the book would be censored due to its veiled attack against both white supremacists and black leaders, it appears that Huey Long enjoys the book, as long as it doesn't offend me. Cool. Tactical bombers. See, so carrier naval bombers. Cool. Awesome, awesome. And they're attacking us here. How many times can you attack me? Here. What the heck? And also, we don't need this area down here, which is good. As much as I love sinking their convoys. What a waste of time. Can coming to France just go to war with them already and kill them off? I'd love that. Please let them leave so we can sink them. God, I want more command power. We need more war support, which we are slowly getting more war support, which is nice. We could continue to fight these guys, get more stability, population, war support, a factory output, but this takes precedence first. Good, keep building, 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 building. Actually, oh, since we lost that, we can't build radar here, which is actually okay with us getting radar over here. That definitely helps us, so. Better us bombings, god dang it. I would garrison these areas, but we only have so many, so much room for divisions, which really, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. No, I'm gonna lose a tank division. Get out of there. Oh boy, that was not good. Can we invade? 90. Not yet. Not yet. I'm going to throw you guys on here then. And we do want some tank divisions. Happy 1941 though, my friends. This takes a long time to rebuild America. My goodness. So long. Farewell. 
Auf Wiedersehen. Goodbye. So we've lost probably quite a few. 68,000, that's not bad. Versus almost two, two thirds of a million. France. France, what are you doing with your life? You want to take back the mainland, so why are you still at war with me? It makes no sense. 41. Construction speed, definitely. Most definitely. Ah, good. Time to get even more factorinos. I love factorinos so much. We technically are still at war, too. Uh, so let's keep going with this here. Build up the steel belt. I love that. We could get more dockyards. You know, let's try that. 70%, 70... 100 New York City. God dang. Nice. Very, very nice. Any other ships? Not yet. Slowly sinking some more convoys. So be it. You guys are looking okay. You might be able to do well. Oh, we have no one down here. God dang it. Ah, uh, why must you pain me so with this? Oh, they're at... Oh, they're attacking us? What the heck? Wait, do they own... We own this. How do they... I hate the French Republic, man. The French Empire, what do they call themselves? French losers down here. That's what they really are. Why, why do you invade me? Why? For what purpose? Mm-hmm. Take off the Mid-Atlantic for now. But I'm going to need you guys to cover that area, too. Alright, it looks like it's probably going to spell the end for those guys. Hey, we took a battleship! Nice! Very nice. Please let me invade. Oh, yeah. Expand the Minutemen. Electoral monitoring. Not bad. We could destroy the clan. People's Commission. Imperial preg pre Pregnancy? Presidency? Perfect democracy, huh? Civil works. Let's begin reconstruction. So, civil war has blasted our economy or country to pieces. Large parts of the rural country are not but mud and ashes, while countless cities have been reduced to smoldering rubble. We shall start to work developing new housing and infrastructure as soon as possible. Let us rebuild America. Not necessarily for the rich, but also for the poor man. Come on, with some tanks and some of these guys here. And then running out of supplies, we should do relatively okay-ish. Maybe not perfect. 62, I like that. Okay, so three half-strength divisions, and they're dying. We can kind of pierce some of our divisions, but whatever. Whatever. Good, hopefully we'll win there. Take that back. Go over here, focus on Portugal. Take out Portugal. Then invade the French Republic through Africa. Own all of North Africa as we watch Germany fall, and I'm not joining the Reichspact, apparently, I guess. And fight some uh, socialist terrorists. Good stuff. The Gary Revolt. Oh! Okay, the Gary Revolt. Wasn't that over here or something? Huh. Come on. I could have done war propaganda too, but whatever. Two Sicilies is gone. That's not good. It's gonna be one heck of a red world. Don't die, Germany. You have so much to live for. Oh boy. Oh boy. It's gonna leave, don't worry about it. Well, there's one of the French navies. But with my tanks here, I don't think they can really do too much. Ah, we're gonna win here. Great! Love it! Build, build, build. Good. We only have 180 factories, though. That's all we have. That's all we have. Go up to 8th for now. Hey, we won! Great job, guys. You really do deserve a pat on the back. Alright, so th if that's the case, you guys stop doing that, stop doing that. We gotta start coming over here, too. There we go. That's nice. Oh, boy. Here comes... A oh, and we just got some more. Oh, we lost something. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Retreat, 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 retreat. Our fleet just cannot compete right now. Disperse industry. Cool. Grab some of that. Oh, God. No, 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 no. We lost five versus their two. Six. No. Oh, crap, that sucks. Cool. Don't go there, then. Kind of hang back for now. With these guys, I want you to do something here. You know what? I, I, I think we're going to be done with this episode. Between this episode and next, I'm going to see if I can white peace out the French Republic. I mean, this is ridiculous. There's nothing I can really do about this, so... I'm going to end it here and make these guys peace out, because this doesn't make any sense. But guys, hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you all tomorrow as we will continue building up our forces and destroying whoever is before us. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day!